Yesterday marked four years since 27-year-old Zulfikar Namdar was shot dead after five armed men invaded this shop at his Metamere Zarg West Coast Demerara home. Today, his parents are still struggling to cope without their only child. Just think about him every day. Don't he still there on? That was Fazila Namdar, the mother of Zulfikar Namdar, known as Vicky, who was brutally gunned down on September 10, 2013. She too was assaulted by the masked gunmen who gun-butted her to the head and carted off with some $1 million. Witnesses had recounted that at about five gunmen invaded the shop and shot the father of two through the grill work as he stood at the counter. As she struggled to speak through tears, Fazila recalled the type of person her son was. Vicky was nice, loving, caring. You always have a smile. You always think about everybody. The father, Gulzar Namdar, who is a member of the Central Islamic Organization of Guyana, recalled the last few minutes he spent with Vicky before he met his brutal death. When I came home, he, he went to see his, um, his wife's relation at the hospital. And when he came, uh, it bothered me a lot because uh, his mother said to me that uh, Vicky bought uh, three pans and he took one, uh, short pans, and then he gave me one. And the mother insisted that I should wear the pants, which I did. And he keep peeping and looking at me to make sure I wore the pants. After eating some nice, delicious food in the evening, then, then he said to me again that, um, "Watch, I bring a, a hak salal fried rice with you uh, for you." And then I said to him, "Man, he always with this type of thing that when I finish eating, then he bring it to me." And he made sure that I o I ate a few a spoonful of food and everything else. And I also want to say that. He was a loving child. He had all the qualities. Um, those who know him, he has a pleasant disposition. He's a type of person who always assists, not only financially, but anything he can actually do for someone, he would do it. Because as a CIOG representative, people always come for help here. And he would be involving himself to go to the school, to go to different places to make sure. You know, he always have a pleasant disposition. Namdar said life has been a constant struggle since the death of his only child. But it is not an easy task. Uh, I do not even want my enemy to actually uh, um, just imagine that they have to pass through what we are going through. Uh, it's four years, but every single day we always remember. And you just imagine that if you have one only child and that if you have to lose that child, um, every single day we're thinking and we're thinking that becomes we are diabetic, we are diabetic and diabetic means that sometimes we eat right and then all, difficult, all difficulty comes with, with sickness. We are traveling with, with, with high blood pressure, um, disturbing foot and all sorts of problems. We are not, it is not an easy task. In the day, because I'm the, I'm the CIOG rep and looking after the school and everything else, it's very easy because people are transversing on a daily basis. But when the, when the darkness comes and when, I, when I'm in my bed with my wife, myself and, and her would actually remember all the good things that is happening and we remember the good days and the happy days. So it is not an easy task for us to go through with it. Eight persons, including a female, have since been charged with the young man's murder and are awaiting trial in the High Court. But even though it has been four years since they have been awaiting justice, the Namdars are not at all discouraged that justice will be served. As a matter of fact, they are satisfied with the court process and hope that the trial will commence later this year. Reporting for the Newsroom, Fariza Hanif.